Hey guys, Nick Heil here, Outside Magazine's Lab Rat. Uh, we got a simple drill for you this morning. This is just a lateral jump test, and it's gonna it's gonna give you a good idea of your plyometric speed and power, which is relevant to almost any ball sport, um, running, even cycling, where that explosive aspect, you know, your your sort of lower body uh, explosive power is directly relevant to the activities that you're doing. So in this test, basically what we've done is we've just set up a little obstacle here. Uh, I just grabbed a couple of boxes and I have a ski pole set right between them as my hurdle that I'm going to jump over. I'm going to stand on one side of it. Now the way this drill works is you want to do 30 seconds jumping back and forth laterally as fast as you can. Try to get as many as you can. You're actually going to probably need a partner for this one. You want somebody with a stopwatch and probably somebody who can actually count the number of jumps just so you can assure accuracy. So grab a partner, grab a stopwatch, set up your, your, your obstacle here, and then the way the drill works is you're going to go for 30 seconds, jumping as many times back and forth over the bar. I'm going to demonstrate this, just to, I'm going to demonstrate this in just a second. You're going to rest for 10 seconds, and then you're going to do another 30-second set, trying to do as many as you can do. Your final score is the total number from both sets. Uh, if you can get upwards of, if you can get to 60, that's pretty good. 70 is really good. 80, you're probably in the elite athlete category. So, super simple. Standing next to our, 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 our hurdle here, we wait for our, our partner to start the stopwatch and signal us to go. And then we're just gonna jump as quickly as we can. Both feet over the bar, go for 30 seconds. We'll pretend that was 30 seconds. <laughs> Rest for 10, and go again, as fast as you can. Whoop. You're gonna have to restart. If you actually knock the bar off like that, you're gonna have to restart the drill, probably from scratch. There you have it. Good luck.